Oh yeah, we're back with some more One Piece heat. And you already know I had to cook up the fight with Luffy and Zoro teaming with Luchi and Kaku to take down S Hawk and S Bear. Now I know y'all ready for this heat. So grab your golden Oreos and pink lemonade. Them shits far. Now on with the heat. So Zoro is stuck looking at the Luchi and Kaku, but soon gets confronted by S Bear. And with hearing an explosion, Luffy starts to slide. And emerging from the smoke of the explosion, s Hawk pulls up on Zoro thinking he's Sneak Nation certified. What do you know? You are a crash out. So they both clash a few times and Zoro's like, If you wanna get folded so badly, be my guest. But s Hawk standing on business, he's not even worried about Zoro, he's here to take out the trash. But Zoro's like, Get that weak shit out of here. s Hawk's looking confused as hell, cause why is he helping out the enemy? And Zoro was like, Damn bro, I hope that attack wasn't meant for me, cause you're is worse than a stormtrooper but nah zoro soon realizes that he's here to put down luchi and kaku and luffy pulls up like hey gang what happened luffy notices the seraphims who's no longer on their side and was like oh no nah, y'all trying to jump my nigga yeah gang they started attacking out of nowhere say vega punk explain what's going on this can't be this is inconceivable Gang, was that really necessary? Anyways, if that's the case, I guess it's time to bust some heads. Pause. Hold on now, you got too much dip on your chip. Let me test out my dog status real quick. Stop. Stop, I say. Well, that was easier than I expected. Lil' bro was wild and he came through wanting smoke with all of us. But I just can't let these fools die while cuffed. That just doesn't sit right with me. All right, now I'm about to put my weapons back. Surely you won't hold me and try to attack. But s Hawk and s Bear don't play fair and try to clean their shit. But Luffy and Zoro managed to get out the way while saving the others. And Vegapunk came to the conclusion that one of the other Vegapunks is controlling them. Again? That means someone wants to kill us all. Nigga! Mm, kill us, you say? Oh, nah. Screw them. So Kaku and Luchi agreed to a temporary alliance, but Zoro and Luffy not with that. Zoro's no fool. He knows if he uncuffed them right here, they won't just willingly get back in cuffs. But Kaku thought he was slick and tried to pull one over them, saying that they will go back in cuffs once they get past this crisis together, which Luffy fell for. But Zoro being the nigga with some sense was like, that's obviously Cap. But s Hog patience is wearing thin, so he started to scrap. And Zoro notices he has the same ability as Mr. Mr. One who possesses the dice dice fruit. So Luffy asks Zoro if he's familiar with that devil fruit, which bro was like, yeah, a long time ago when I was scrapping with a Baroque's member. But again, s Hawk is done standing around and is ready to dice some shit. And look at the POV of s Hawk from Kako and Zoro. This is what you call an elite crash out. And peep the choreography, that man Zoro really holding his own without the use of his swords and while protecting Kaku. Then s Hawk uses another ability of Mr. One which kicked in Zoro's PTSD and changed the whole style of animation. And Luffy pulls up empty hands so Kaku's like, where's my leash? Oh, I left him over there. Nigga. Now, hold on, because S-Hawk's not done with the violence and tried to attack all three, but they get out the way. And Luffy tried to boom, bro, but S-Hawk weave game immaculate. So Luffy pulls over Luchi because he might need to uncuff him. And Kaku's like, you see, you can't keep going through the trouble of defending us in cuffs. But Zoro's like, shut up. I said what I said. Now let a nigga cook. You two are like good friends. No, no we're not. Vegapunk asks Luchi what's their mission, which bro didn't hesitate to let him know all seven Vegapunks elimination. Kaku's like, gang, how could you openly say that? And what about Stussy? I'ma boom that bitch too. Excuse my language, my language, but nigga, you don't wanna survive. So s Bear prepares an attack, and Kaku's like, you gotta uncuff us, man. So Luffy has Vegapunk for the keys and turns to Luchi and started talking his hot shit like, you won't crash out on me and my friends cause you already know I'll dog walk you again, right? My nigga, that kind of provocation is not gonna work. Uh -huh. Of course, I'm gonna boom you first and then go after your friends next. Well, okay, never mind. It actually worked. S Bear shoots a shockwave at the gang, and as the smoke clears, we see cuffs on the ground, and Luffy enters gear four. And Luchi's in his beast form and panning on the other side of things. Zoro and Kaku charges in at S Hawk with a synchronized attack while posing for the edit. And Luffy and Luchi pulls up on S Bear with a synchronized attack of their own, and the gang sends both S Hawk and S Bear flying inside the lab and strikes a final pose for the edit. But S Bear is back up and started spamming lasers, and Zoro and Kaku charges towards s Hawk. Meanwhile, s Bear steady spamming, but 
Luchi and Luffy casually dodging the light beams, and return the favor by spamming punches at S Bear. And panning back on the other side of things, as Zoro and Kaku was avoiding S Hawk's attack, Kaku started to get in the mix, making an opening for Zoro. So Zoro used one sword style and cleaned his shit. And Luffy and Luchi puts S Bear on his ass. Now they're all tired as hell, and Kaku started talking that hot shit. Like, they may be tough, but they're not getting up from that. But Vegapunk's like, I wouldn't be so sure about that. The Seraphim's built different. They're the strongest form of humanity. So the Seraphim starts to arise, but Luffy's like, oh, no, nah, lay your ass back down. Y'all keep getting up. Who do you think you are, Kaido? And they all confused as hell on why they're so tanky. But Zoro's been through this before back at the land of Wano during his fight with King, which Vegapunk fills the gang in on King, also known as Albert Backstory, and states that the Seraphim's were augmented with his Lunarian blood, which Zoro tells the gang to watch out for the flames on their back, cause their attacks will only work when it's out, but when it's lit they're practically invincible, and after taking a trip down memory lane he apologizes for not recognizing it sooner, and Zoro starts to describe King's characteristics to them, which are white hair, dark skin, black wings, and a flame on his back, that had them all in shock, even Luffy, cause those characteristics are so specific how couldn't he tell sooner, and Vegapunk takes off cause he has an idea where Stella aka the main body of Vegapunk might be, but S Hawk's like I haven't tried to off you all day, now's the time, but Zoro pulls through clutch as always. So Zoro pulled up on S Hawk and they started clashing. And doing what the Seraphims does best, S Hawk got the spamming. And Luffy was done standing around and was ready to get active. Pulling up on S Bear with a red hawk. But S Bear is unfazed due to the flame on his back still being lit. And Luffy noticed while they were focused on the Seraphim's flames, S Hawk managed to get away. Which Luchi let the gang know that S Hawk may have changed his priority to focus on Vegapunk in order to eliminate the weak. That way they can get into the tough one's head by eliminating their friends. So Zoro tells Luffy to leave S Hawk to him, which Luffy gave him the green. But Luffy suddenly remembers that Zoro stay getting lost. And tells Kaku, who he referred to as Usopp, because they both have a nose about long as shit, that he should go and stay by Zoro's side so that he won't get lost. But S Bear tried to put a stop to him so Luffy's like, oh nah bitch don't intervene. Your fight is with me right now gang. So S Bear wasted no time and got back to spamming. But Luffy pulled up in an instant and started tagging S Bear's stomach up. But Luchi's like, you gotta think Straw Hat, you'll never beat him that way. But Luffy's the type to think with his fist and he rocked S Bear's shit and sent him flying. But that had no effect. And yeah, that was the fight between Luffy, Zoro, Luchi, and Kaku versus S Hawk and S Bear and all its greatness. And I'm not gonna hold you. I'm about a cool 15 seconds away from this video reaching the 8 minute mark. So you know, relax for a second and chill with your boy. And if you made it this far come and one tap shanks cause shanks about to do kid real dirty very soon but you know i wouldn't be surprised if the animators dragged this on to be an actual fight making kid look like less of a fraud and yeah I should be chilling and if you made it this far go ahead and dab me up to you're a real one you feel me now with that being said whether you're from tiktok or youtube don't forget to drop a like and follow and subscribe in need be we moving also i'm taking recommendations bro so hit the comments and more heat on the wait.